we are going to discuss about the iron deficiency in yeah? continue uh, till now we discuss about the uh, basic about the uh, nutrition and then uh, assess nutritional assessment balanced diet those we discuss then we discuss about the malnutrition and then we are uh, particularly discussing about the public malnutrition which are the public health problem in Nepal and we have completed the protein energy malnutrition, we have completed the vitamin A uh, deficiency. Vitamin A deficiency got an A, am Yes, sir, in last class. Last class we did the vitamin A and now uh, today uh, iron deficiency anemia and next class I will be talking about the iodine deficiency anemia and then one class uh, I will talk about the general other food safety topic and that will be the last class and Food, uh, food safety and other topic like it's a mix of a uh, few topic and then every last class and then uh, uh, you will have other statistics class or something from our side from community medicine um, okay anybody can have idea like iron deficiency anyway yeah hematology block why why not so this is the first I think eh? there is, you haven't had the hematology block. Maybe hematology block bas hai nahi? No sir. No sir. Yeah, I don't because it's all the biochemistry and absorption and all these things will be taught in the uh, hematology side. But I'll be mainly focusing on the from the perspective of the public perspective. Okay. So iron uh, is necessary for heme production and which is uh, necessary for the hemoglobin. Uh, heme and globin is a component for the hemoglobin, uh, for uh, which is present in the uh, which has role in especially in the oxygen transportation. So. So iron is an integral part for that. So beside that, iron are required for the brain development as well as the body temperature maintenance, muscle activities, body metabolisms, because these are also necessary for the other enzymes and myoglobin, uh, in, uh, which is present in the muscles. So um, for the uh, formation of that. So uh, this... Uh, uh, um, minerals is necessary for the all these functions. So these are the component of as I uh, as I was saying, this is component of myoglobin, cytochromes, and other enzymes like catalase and other enzymes. Okay, and this is very essential for the oxygen binding the oxygen to the blood cells, and which is the trans, which is responsible for the transport of the oxygen to the whole part of the body. Okay. So this picture shows the how iron metabolism take place in the body. Uh, roughly one to two mg of absorption take place daily, and similar amount is lost. So minimum we required one to two mg of the uh, uh, irons uh, should be there to maintain the loss. But in case of the female, it will be high because uh, every month they have got uh, this menstruation cycle, and the blood loss will be there and uh, because of the, that, that's why the uh, the ladies has got the more iron deficiency anyway. One of the reasons loss will be there, and if we don't replenish it adequately, then uh, there will be the deficiency. And uh, iron is present in the two form. One is in plasma, uh, which is account for four mg. But most of the them are inside the cells, either in the erythroid side cells, which is roughly twenty five hundred mg. And body also, uh, they store, especially in the liver, 100 mg, and other enzymes and um, uh, myoglobin, 300 mg is, is there. And every day there is a cycle of uh, consumption and uh, release of the iodine. Like uh, for the production, roughly 20 mg is used from the body, and uh, yeah, that's RBC production occurs in the bone marrow where RBC is forms. And then after the life is uh, life of the iron is finished, they are destroyed where other part are lost, but iron part is recycled. That's why we don't require a lot of uh, iron body. So only loss is one to two mg. That's also in stool, especially in stool, it could loss. Okay. 
So this is how the iron metallism occurs in our body. And as, as I was saying, if there is a problem in absorption, means you are not eating enough that required to the replaces, then you will have iron deficiency anemia. And if there is a problem in loss, especially uh, like a physiological loss uh, in case of uh, woman or uh, lady, or if there is a bleeding, and then also you'll have a uh, loss, then if you don't take enough, uh, then also like uh, hookworm infestations, and there is also minimal loss in the stool, uh, in a small amount for longer period of time also, uh, then it will uh, result into the iron deficiency anemia, okay? Now talking about the source, there are two sources uh, uh, for that. And there is two form of the irons and source also uh, according to that, like uh, one is heme form and non-heme form. Heme form is found in the animal product where uh, non-heme form is from the physical, vegetable origin or vegetable product. And from the point of the absorption, him iron is better absorbed than the, absorbed than the uh, non him iron. And uh, presence of him iron will promote the absorption of non him iron also. And, uh, non him source are like cereals, green leafy vegetables, legumes, nuts, oil seed, dry fruits. These are the source for the non him iron. And like. Uh, Animal product like meat, liver, especially liver, poultry, figs, these are the source for the heme irons, okay? And this a viability of non in iron, that's a plant source, is very poor owing, uh, because of the other um, factors that affect the absorption, like phytates, oxalate, phosphate, and dietary fibers. This uh, reduce the absorption of the uh, absorption of the iron from the face tables. A uh, few examples are like phytates in bran, phosphate, uh, phosphate in egg yolk, tannin in tea, oxalate in vegetables. These uh, hinders the absorption of the non iron. Whether there are certain, uh, certain things also promote the iron absorption, like promote or uh, like absorption Absorbed acid or vitamin C uh, is the one. Uh, so if we take the vitamin C along with the iron, then that facilitates the absorption. That facilitates the conversion of him, non him to him iron. So that's also facilitating the absorption. So this was the daily dietary requirement for male and Female, according to the age group, okay. Uh, like uh, for the male, uh, adult is required eight, where female, adult who are maturating eighteen, and uh, after the menopause, male and female requirement is same, and children are also male and female are same, but adolescents and the adult is when the female required uh, more. And there are certain situations where demand will be high, like pregnancy. Uh, every nutrients are demand high, uh, energy, calorie, as well as the uh, iron are also demand is high during the pregnancy, during lactations. Okay. And talking about the iron absorption, this take place in the second part of the duodenum, uh, And as I said that uh, it is affected by the absorption effect by the presence of inhibitors, like uh, mention of the oxalate, phytate, tannin in the tea, those are the inhibitor and promoter, like as far as it is a promoter for the iron absorption, as well as the duodenum pathology. If there is any duodenum pathology, then uh, then duodenum or duodenum pathology, they also hinder the iron absorption and it's also depend upon the physiology also like if there's an iron demand in the blood how much uh, saturation of the, this uh, uh, transportation protein or not presents uh, that's also determines how efficiently the iron are absorbed um,
like in pregnancy, demand is high, so iron absorption also better. And during the deficiency, also iron absorption are better than the if you are if you have the normal iron body amount, then uh, during if you have the deficiency, then absorption better. This is a uh, physiology phenomenon. Okay. And uh, those which are absorbed in the duodenum are transported by the transporting protein, uh, that's ferritin, and they are stored in the livers and other reticular endothelial cells like spleen, bone marrow, and kidney. And uh, they are used for the uh, formation of the uh, uh, RVC and other in, uh, uh, RVC and myoglobin, and also used uh, during the uh, different enzymes activities. So, and uh, when RVC cells are broke down, the recycle of the iron takes place. And condition where iron loss is roughly 1 mg and 2 mg in menstruation women. And major iron loss are hemorrhage, like physiological or pathological hemorrhage, or basal loss, especially during work. Uh, uh, discomposure cell surface through stool or uh, bile, sweat or urine. So this is how the iron loss. And if there's a disbalance between absorption and the loss, that results into the deficiency. Okay. So that's about the briefly about the iron absorption and iron physiology and source as well as the um, required how much is uh, required and now moving to the deficiency uh, iron deficiency is also uh, not that uh, it is manifested immediately having a deficiency there is a different stage uh, first stage is an intermediate or latent uh, iron deficiency and there is a uh, where actually there is a symptom is an overt iron deficiency and during the uh, first stage, uh, there is a, no any detectable abnormality. Only iron storages are depleted. And if we take the enough food, then iron storage replenishes, and no problem will be there. And second stage is the intermediate stage where the iron stores are whole uh, exhausted, but enemy has not occurred yet uh, and it can be in, uh, recognized uh, by the ferritin measuring the uh, iron ferritin level and third stage is a over iron deficiency where there is a enemy is presence and as well as all the symptoms related to the enemy is present and And what's the uh, in results of the iron deficiency is the uh, nutritional anemia. If there is a deficiency of iron, uh, result in anemia, and uh, anemia is a disease. And beside that, uh, deficiency of iron can also uh, have impact on the cell immunity. It's uh, reduced uh, uh, cell mediated immunity and increase the risk for infections also and increase morbidity, mortality, as well as the diminish the work performance. So that's how uh, iron deficiency and now will impact. Well, now, what are the signs and symptoms of the anemia? When iron will be uh, deficient or there is anemia or hemoglobin, anemia is defined as a decrease in hemoglobin levels means uh, oxygen transport will be uh, affected. So the sinus symptoms will be open to that. Like you will feel more tired working the uh, small work also you will feel tired or you will uh, catch for the breath. Like uh, because uh, if you work means demand will be high but the hemoglobin level is less or RVC, uh, oxygen carrying capacity is less means you are not supplying it, so, so that the, you will try to compensate that and you will have the breathlessness. And if we see the 
tone or the lower conjunctiva, then there you should the paleness because the the redness is given by the presence of the this hemoglobin levels or hemoglobin uh, or red blood cells underlying that uh, mucosa. Uh, but uh, if um, there is a deficient, means the sign is the paleness or pallor. Uh, you can observe that sign. And uh, because of the, this decreased oxygen carrying capacity of, uh, of the uh, RBC, the patient will be less active. And another typical um, sign of the iron deficiency in uh, COVID-19, which is a, this kind of corpse, uh, this nail will become the c -set. Like That's COVID-19. So if you see the coelonachia, then you should suspect that, okay, the, the person has got the iron deficiency anemia. Okay, these are the signs and symptoms of the iron deficiency anemia. So how will you diagnose of the anemia? Uh, the basic is to measure the hemoglobin levels. And we, we can do the uh, hemoglobin levels. And if we, uh, there is a cutoff value, if uh, adult has got the less than mm, uh, 13 uh, in case of male and female, pregnant and non-pregnant is uh, different and children also. This, these are the part of value. So if uh, hemoglobin level in the blood is less, then you could diagnose one that. Another is a hemoglobin concentration in the RBC, mean corpuscle hemoglobin concentrations. Uh, normal is a 34 percentage. Then if there is a, it, it, within the RBC, if the hemoglobin percentage is less, means also, that's how also you could uh, identify it. there is an iron deficiency anemia. Okay, one is to measure the hemoglobin itself. Another is a concentration of hemoglobin in the RBC. If um, less than 34 percent is, then uh, that's also diagnosed at the iron deficiency anemia. Beside that, uh, you could also do the iron concentration in the blood also. Uh, and this will give the early uh, problems. Like as I, as I was saying, the, uh, it will take time to be the anemia. There is a uh, um, uh, Latin stage also. So you could identify if you measure the serum iron then uh, during the Latin stage so you could identify it. Otherwise you have to wait till uh, there is a iron deficiency uh, anemia itself. Okay. And for that one is the iron concentrations. So normally is pointed to 1.8 mg per liter. And if you multiply by the 5, so roughly 4 is the average. And serum ferritin uh, also um, identify the Latin stage of the uh, iron status. And, and this gives the, especially the iron storage capacity. Uh, so ferritin uh, level, because it's a transport protein and the transport protein concentration uh, level will determine by the how iron status in the body. So uh, it's referred to the iron status means before the development of the anemia, ferritin level will help to identify the problem. Similarly, uh, serum transfer in saturation, so which is normally is more than 16 percent, if less than that also, it will help. Serum transferrin is a transport protein, and uh, so for the iron, that's how it is related to the iron deficiency. Okay, and saturation, how uh, much does it take time for the saturation? You will be taught in the biochemistry in detail about that, how this is calculated as well as the.
that is about the how to diagnose the what are the signs and symptoms how to diagnose the uh, cases uh, of the iron deficiency anemia now i'll be discuss on the how to prevent and control of that and as um, previously also uh, had shown like uh, consistently we have been showing uh, whenever we discuss about the prevention and control we follow the this different level of interventions okay like uh, health promotion specific protections uh, early diagnosis and treatment disability nutrition and rehabilitation try to learn that way in the park it might not given that way also so try to think that way so that, so that it will be easy to remember also okay so from the health promotion or primary prevention it consists in the health promotion and specific protection so and under the primary prevention we go to the health promotions and what are the activity you could do for that is Uh, promotion about the adequate nutrition is there or uh, any nutrition education to improve the whole dietary habit including the iron deficiency uh, and targeted education you could give to the pregnant women or those who have got high risk for the iron deficiency well lactate women and what the prevention mechanism those should be provided and another could be the deworming for children or second trimester women that's also it's not a part of the health promotion but it's part of the specific protections um, it's a primordial prevention like uh, because deworming is necessary to uh, as i was saying uh, open infestation is the one the cause for the uh, um iron deficiency so if we periodically do the deworming means the iron loss will be less as well as the during pregnancy also if you do then since the pregnancy demand the high and if there is a loss also then iron deficiency chance would be high that's why deworming will be done for the children as well as the second trimester pregnant women and another uh, specific protection you could do is a nutrition supplement if there is a commensurate level iron deficiency anemia then you could supply the targeted this supplementation to them so that's about the health promotions and regarding the specific protections food fortification that nutrition supplement or food for you could fortified uh, supplementation could be done through the food fortification and iron tablet distributions uh, uh, especially we do for the uh, pregnant women like every pregnant we know that demand will be high that's why we give the iron tablet orally uh, before that this is the primary prevention before the any disease develop so we give the iron tablet distribution to the pregnant women similarly if there is in the community also you can distribute the iron also as a program also okay and another is a early diagnosis and uh, treatment so how will you diagnose as uh, for the every diagnosis history and examination and uh, laboratory measurement is required so history is important like if there is a uh, history of the headache giddiness fatty loss of appetite and uh, also there is a pallor is present a cholinergia is present then you you could suspect okay this is iron deficiency and you could do the uh, uh, important is like a, a, a diagnosis and uh, you will identify okay the problem uh, the person is suffering from the iron deficiency anemia and then uh, it's also depends upon the what stage they are then treatment also uh, different like if normal then nothing is required only the food dietary counseling is enough like they promote that okay you should take the iron rich food that's it. okay then if it is less than 11 or 11 to 9 then it's a mild then you should prescribe the, the oral iron therapy it means you cannot replace in the iron by only taking the diet for this stage and if it's 7 to 9 then that's moderate means only oral won't be enough because oral has got the less bio availability so you should give the parental iron therapy and if it's less than 7 it's not uh, it will take time to replace the whole iron so you have to act orally otherwise uh, if there is a chronic anemia then the uh, chronic oxygen 
carrying capacity is of the blood is less, then the body will try to compensate that by the pumping mode, means you will have got a cardiac problem, like cardiomyopathy, um, hypertrophy, and all the cardiac failure could be occur. So if there is less than seven, then you have to give the blood transfusions and target to reach at least uh, at the level of mild or more than nine gram. And one pint of blood will provide the one gram of iron. That's a rule. So if we, if somebody has got a seven gram of iron, then, then you'll give the two pint of blood. Then we assume that, okay, now the person will have the nine gram of iron. Then you could continue the oral tablet and treat the patient, okay? So oral tablet supplementations, therapeutic supplementations, uh, less than two, will, two years, 25 mg of iron plus folic acid because uh, uh, folic acid is not for the iron, but for the sometimes the, uh, if somebody has got the nutritional anemia means they might not have taken the um, folic acid also might not be there. So iron and folic acid usually required and uh, folic acid is required for the globin synthesis. So if you are giving enough iron means hemoglobin uh, production will be more. So demand will be high. And if they have got the global uh, malnutrition, then uh, again, if you only give the iron, then there's a folic deficiency, then megalastic anemia will be there. And how long it should be given? At least for three months should be given. Two to two periods, iron content will be 60 mg per iron and 400 mg of folic acid daily. And adolescents and including the pregnant woman, uh, 120 of iron, 400 mg of folic acid daily. Okay. So that's about the early diagnosis and treatment and disability limitations. As uh, this is a tertiary prevention mechanisms. If somebody has got the severe anemia, there could be the high output failure of cardiac failure. So that's why uh, for them the back iron uh, cells should be uh, provided so that uh, further uh, cardiac failure does not occur. Correction will be there. Uh, and rehabilitation, some, someone if uh, is uh, handicapped because of the anemia or cardiac failure, then uh, treatment should be even accordingly and as well as the medical rehabilitation, social rehabilitation should be provided, okay? So that's about the whole about the iron deficiency, anemia, how you prevent and control, how you diagnose, what are the signs and symptoms, what are the pathophysiology uh, of the iron deficiency anemia, okay? Any question till now? No, sir. Now let's move over the what is the problem in Nepal, okay? This is iron deficiency which is very common in women and children and NDHS, yes, demographic health survey, NDSS data shows that more than half of the children less than five years are suffering from every second child is anemic and 40% is almost every second woman is also anemic from the woman in the reproductive age group. That means we are not taking enough food like if you come to the clinical practice also like if you see the cut of value and value is 13 for the male but if you measure yourself also you might have 11, 12 or somebody will, you know, we don't treat that, we just counsel them to have a uh, iron rich food. You will see a lot of, lot of cases, especially from the villages and so this early anemia phase will be there. Okay. And what are the programs for the iron deficiency anemia uh, in the Nepal? One is free iron tablet for the pregnant woman or breastfeeding woman uh, through the, that is provided free of cost for everybody. One program is that. Total 180 tablets for the antenatal 
visit and fortify tablet for postnatal period. So total 225 uh, tablet and 180 is uh, roughly by the six month from the second trimester it is given. It's not given in the first trimester because the iron will cause the uh, vomiting, iron tablet can induce vomiting. So during the first trimester itself, uh, uh, there is a risk for the vomiting because of the physiological reasons and uh, iron deficiency, uh, iron tablet can aggravate that pregnancy induce hyper, hyperemesis. So it can uh, aggravate that. That's why it's not given in the first trimester. Uh, and so it's given from the second trimester for six months and additional during the lactation period or postpartum period for 45. So total 225 tablets is given. One is program is that. Another program is a periodic deworming is done every six monthly from six months to five years study the one is done and it's a part of the in IYCF integrated infant young child feeding program uh, which support the optimal breastfeeding and complementary feeding and multi-nutrient powder also contain the, uh, every uh, vitamins and minerals so that's also uh, indirectly uh, prevent the iron deficiency in multinutrient powder. Balutized schemas. Okay. So this table shows the what are the um, food that is uh, contain the iron, like different type of food. How much it's contained for 100 gram of So that's it about the Iron deficiency. Any questions? Sir. Azur. Yadi hai na, kuni person hai na, accident ko karan le hai, use bleeding baat sa wani hai na, sir. And the person, anemic condition ma jana sab sa ki sab dhe na. Sab sa, tara immediately jana dhe na, in the sa, abo bleeding ho da, on the dhe na, kira na, body lepan ta compensate gaur na, kuchan ta, you know. And there is a massive amount of bleeding in the body. There is a massive bleeding in the body. massive bleeding in the body. There is a massive bleeding in the body. There is a blood volume in the body. There is a massive loss in the There is a massive loss in the body. There is a massive loss in the body. There is a massive loss in blood transfusion. There is a massive blood transfusion. There is a massive blood transfusion. There is a massive blood transfusion. There is Torachi na thore 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 bleeding bhai chronic bhai rasa usually iron deficiency anemia huncha ke. Unda abo ti mero blood loss hole nai bhai bantha hole blood dai deficient huncha hai na songs hai iron pal huncha. Tara blood le chhi ki garcha ni thore thore ti mero loss bhai rasa bani chhi hai na. What it try to compensate the blood volume. Ani blood volume tole compensate garna khocha hai na. Tere bara chhi water abs sunche bada huncha ra ani. This was easy, the blood cells at such money come with the answer. The emergency, you know, in blood cell loss, why when you see total demand high, you know, usually kills and recycle on something, the blood destruction by the iron the loss by round it. I know, until I see the virtue to do not a cycle on Jenny to cycle, but I see break on a button, the blood loss by the same. This element, you know, it is correctly replacing God in a bunch of loss. A massive loss by the way, they have to be able to get a loss by the way, you know, I know, like 400, 500 ml loss by the way, but I think it's okay, for the iron, I don't think it's replacing the iron, but I don't think it's okay, but I don't think it's okay, you know, when you cycle, you know, three months later, you know, you consume, you know, you know, destruction by the RBC, you know, recycle, you know, you know, you know, any question or? Thank 
के क्वेश्चन छ पुरानो पनि के क्वेश्चनहरु Okay, question, sir. Thank you very much.